all right, one thing you're always going to get with me is I'm going to share stuff with you. It doesn't have to do with the stock market in particular, but this caught my attention today. How we eat Nature Valley granola bars. Let me know if you relate. Did I just show that twice? I think I showed it twice. Anyway, welcome to the Stomp Report. We have a lot to talk about today, including our precious meme stocks. What is going on with our meme stocks? And you know what? I am not even talking about their prices. I know that's what you may think, but I'm actually talking about our Chinese meme stocks. They're in danger. Oh no, let me show you this article real quick. and We'll talk about it just a little bit. New fraud allegations against Chinese electric vehicle maker Candy Technologies come at a particularly bad time for Wall Street. On Wednesday, the House has scheduled a vote on the Holding Foreign Companies Accountable Act, which could lead to the eventual delisting of, oh no, Alibaba stock, JD.com, Neo, and other Chinese stocks. What are we going to do without our meme stocks? Here's what I was thinking. Why are so many of these meme stocks? We know Baba, Neo, um, all the other Chinese electric car companies, Xping, why are they meme stocks? It's because we know that China is at the forefront of innovation in a lot of these ways. And so we see these companies and we see their prices and we see the potential for their prices to shoot up. And we're in because that's the future, man. It's like these, these electric vehicle companies, China is so much ahead of us. What, what if we didn't have Tesla? Like China would be ruling the world in the coming years with electric vehicles. I mean, they're going to be ruling the world in other ways, but let's not talk about that right now. Let's talk about America. These Chinese companies that we so love to ride waves on, these companies that have made so many people millions of dollars, people that we've seen in the Wall Street bets communities, they may be delisted. And I've told you in previous videos, for example, with NEO, I am long NEO. I'm 20 years NEO, but what if it gets delisted? I don't know. I'm going to have to sell my call soon, especially if that's coming, coming up. But one thing the article did say that gives me a little bit of hope, and it's not going to make me panic sell anytime soon, is that if these companies are delisted, it's probably going to be within three years or so. So, excuse me, about three years out. Nothing to panic about now, but it is worth keeping an eye on. And to our representatives, here you go again. How dare you? How dare you? Shut up, Greta. How dare you? You infringe on our meme stocks. We already have enemies with Kramer and with Citron Research. We have no problem adding you to the list. I'm sure there's plenty of people on the subreddit who already have you on their list, myself included. Get your act together, house. We want these meme stocks. We don't want them to go away. Get out of our business. All right, all right, I've said enough. Now let's move on to some of the big winners and losers. We have a lot, uh, we have a lot of losers today, including the first one here. Oh man. Now you look at this chart and you think, well, that's pretty typical of a Wall Street bets loss. In fact, that's actually on the lower side. Well, I did a little bit of digging here. So we have our first loss you void noise and he he says quote you'll never think you'll destroy your life but here we are why is this one particularly depressing well void noise worked a six for your job and he quit his job and he had 65,000 plus in robin hood and he quit that job to attempt to trade full-time and not only that but he can't get his six-figure job back and some of you may be laughing laughing but man that's just such a bummer somebody asked him did you quit your job to attempt to trade full-time can't go back also did you lose this from options or just crappy stock picks and his answer yes 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 and yes oh void noise void noise void noise void noise you quit your six-figure job to invest in stocks. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Void noise. Crawl back to your job on your knees. Grovel at your boss's feet. 
do whatever you can to get your job back, even if it means getting less pay. But none of this, none of this from any of you. This is ridiculous. All right, let's move on. More losses, more losses coming. All right, we have you, Double, double Jeopardy Alex. And he says, quote, I belong here. I mean, you, you kind of belong here. $111,000 loss since, well, it says since January of 96, you can see, really, it's just the last year. Double Jeopardy Alex provides no further context. Oh, Double Jeopardy Alex. Uh, sorry. Not really. All right, next, we have, I like your attitude, you, underscore, underscore, Nico, underscore, underscore. It's only a loss once you've settled for a loss. Keep your heads up, Kings. Hey, you keep your head up, Nico. You uh, graduated college and you invested all that money into the stock market, excuse me, into the options. And well, that's what it produced. If you're wondering what that big drop is, um, I don't know when that would have been. Well, since April 2020, I would guess that was around August or September. That drop was on Spy G calls. Where are Spy G calls? They're uh, specific selected growth stocks from um, from the S&P 500. So I think it was about 300 of those 500 are selected. And it's it's interesting because Spy G has done quite well this year. So what you underscore underscore Nico underscore underscore did was probably invested in some some weeklies. He YOLO'd into some weeklies. And around that time, I'm guessing September, September was a bloody month. His bet lost him a decent amount, quite a bit. But hey, Nico, you have almost $1,400. How about you do some slow and steady? Get a job, get some money, some disposable income. You're out of college, you have plenty of time. How about a little bit slower and steadier? I'm not saying you have to go all the way slow by investing in stocks, but how about some safer options? How about some leaps, things like that? All right, next, you dissonant neuron, I have no remorse, no bad feelings for you. He says, F Robin Hood. Yeah, yeah, dissonant neuron. Robin Hood was the problem, right, for your $200,000 loss. How about you uh, shift your blame somewhere else, like to you? Because you're the only one to blame. What does Robin Hood, what does, what does Robin Hood have to do with this? You lost $200,000. It has nothing to do with Robin Hood. If you did that on Tastyworks, you would have done the same thing. If you did that on Weeble, you would have done the same thing. Don't blame Robin Hood. It's your fault. Dissonant neuron. All right, how about some gains? We have a couple of YOLOs here. We have you, sir, Jack a lot. Jack, cool name. Interesting way to put that. All right, Jack YOLO'd into GameStop. We've seen Jack a lot before. Um, that wasn't meant to be a play on words. But you, sir, Jack a lot. This is the kind of YOLO that I'm cool with. It's like you found something, you you did the research, you invested in it, and you're holding. And you've got those diamond hands. And I'm sure if we were to look at your calls, or I, it may just be that you bought stocks, actually, um, that you held and that you didn't uh, do any kind of weeklies, you just held on. That's the kind of YOLO that I'm down with. All right, next one. We have you, socialist underscore baby. He says, I'm cashing out. You socialist underscore baby went all in on Roku, which was a great bet considering that this year we had a low of $69.46 and it went all the way up to $293.57 a share. So his gain all time, $630,000, $698.28, 504% all time. Well done, you socialist baby. And since you are a socialist baby, how about you go ahead and dis distribute some of that wealth? All right. Hey, all right, all right, that is enough for the gains and losses. Now, next, I talked about in the beginning how our meme stocks are under attack. And I did mean specifically the Chinese meme stocks that we love so much. But this next chart is not for the faint of heart. All right, let's go to it. Here is a chart of our meme stocks. They all look pretty familiar. That's interesting, especially considering the Dow, the S&P, and NASDAQ are all up today. But the meme stocks are following a similar trend. I'm wondering 
if there's some lurkers who are coordinated and betting against our meme stocks. But you know what? You are not going to keep us down forever, that's for sure. Our meme stocks will ride high until the end. And of course, the king of the meme stocks right now, we have Palantir. Palantir had a an awful start to the day and then recovered and recovered quite nicely. And then I, I'm going to, maybe I can zoom in here. Um, there's a pretty thick red candle, um, well, not one red candle, several red candles. Um, went back down and, but, you know, bouncing back. Uh, you know what I'm going to say about pounds here? Sell your weeklies. No, actually, just don't get into weeklies. Are you kidding me? You know what I did today? I bought another call. I bought a call yesterday. I bought a call Friday. I am, I will buy a call tomorrow if the stock price goes down. I have done my due diligence with Palantir. You, if you've watched this channel, you know how I feel about PLTR, about this company. The fundamentals are solid. Somebody asked me in a, in a different video uh, where I thought Palantir was going to go. And I said, if it went down, it would go down to somewhere around $24. And if we go back here, where, where was the low today? I believe it was around $24.50. I don't think it's going to go any further down, which is, again, why I bought a third call. Um, and I've been holding on to this for a while, so don't feel bad for me for my losses. I, I am in the positive still on this. I will be in the positive on this a month from now. A year from now, I will still be holding calls in this company, and I'm going to be in the positive. Now, there was a great post shared by you, Namniko, on Reddit, some serious PLTR DD curse, courtesy of Seeking Alpha. He just copied and posted the article. Um, it goes into the speculative nature of Palantir right now. I understand that that's the case, but then it gives a long, you should read this, a long description of what does Palantir do, what's the, the technological edge, and then the conclusion at the end is this company is solid. And that's where I stand. That's where I'm going to stand. And honestly, I mean, we're talking about 3x, a little under 3x now since the IPO date. It's not like that's that big of a deal. It's like the excitement with Palantir isn't because of the, the sudden rise that we've seen with it. The excitement is mostly because this is a legit company. And I've been saying that since the beginning. All right, so I'm sticking with this. And maybe I'll have to extend some calls out. And I have one expiring on December 31st. Maybe I'll extend that. Fine. But I'm sticking with this. This is, you want to talk about diamond hands. This is, I am staying with Palantir. All right, GameStop. What do we have with GameStop? Down 58 cents. That's a bummer because um, pre-market, a lot of these stocks pre-market looked great. And GameStop was actually looking really good uh, throughout the whole day. But finally gave into the pressure. You see technical ind indicators, short-term, mid-term, long-term. They're all bullish. I said yesterday that maybe it's time to get out. Maybe maybe I should have gotten out yesterday um, because GameStop has these swings. We have a lot of short short sellers, and a lot of times they get squeezed out, and so they got to do dramatic things, and uh, then they, they take on their shorts again. So Palantir has gone up and down, up and down, up and down. And maybe it's reached its peak for the cycle and maybe it's going down. I don't know. We'll see. So GameStop. I know some people, a lot of people are just going to keep on holding. More props to you. Now, PSTH, Pershing Square, Tontite Holding. I have told you that I am, again, I am in on this. So I got in a little too early. The price dipped. I lost some money. I doubled down and I stuck with it. And I'm reaping the benefits now. Up 11 cents today. It had a similar, it was on that meme stock chart. If you see the fourth down here, down, you know, what it's been doing is it's just been, uh, you know, within a few cents of, of breaking even for the day. And I've noticed that this happens a lot with this stock. Now, sometimes it'll go up pretty high, but many times wherever it starts out in the day on a normal day, it'll just revert to that meme. And so, I'm, I'm down with this one. I'm sticking with it. I'm pretty excited about it. So next we have Apex Technology Acquisition. Uh, I, I don't know a ton about this one, to be honest with you. I, I've just seen a lot of excitement. So I just want to take a look at the price down $1.03. 
6.73 percent so let's let's check it out the the year to date here oh oh so that is really interesting this is my first time actually looking at this man um just steady as she goes all the way until december uh let me narrow this down to within a month here so apex technology acquisition i mean just based on this i would stay away that's just my opinion but if you know anything that I don't know, which in this case would be a lot, let me know in the comment section. All right, next we have Blink Charging Company, another electric vehicle battery uh, maker. And Blink, just like the electric stocks, just like Neo, just like, um, uh, why am I blanking? Uh, Xping, they're, they're down today, down about 11%. And so I, I have said before, and I'll say it again, NEO is next. Let's just go to NEO, and then I'll, I'll say what I was going to say. NEO down to 46.21, down 8.56%. I don't care. I am so unbelievably long NEO unless the government intervenes that uh, this these days will happen. My calls expire in more than two years from now. Not going to worry about that. But I have been saying about these electric vehicle stocks and related companies that they have been in a point of where are we going to go and um maybe that's down on the short term i think maybe it's down i mean it's looking like that now uh we're seeing that neo is about to cross that 20-day moving average it's been doing great since then you know since a year not not a year ago six months ago um but Maybe maybe we'll cross that 20-day moving average, and maybe we'll bring it down to the 200 moving average. I don't think it's going to go far that far down. That would be somewhere the averages would cross around $25 or so. There's no way. As far as I'm concerned, though, Neo, $300. I'm sticking with it. All right, so that is it for the meme stocks. Hey, you know, there was some good advice posted, posted, posted by Mr. Moist. I was already thinking about his name. And I want you guys to hear this, especially if you're new to options, okay? He says, Mr. Moist, I, I can assume you're a man, finally. Mr. Moist says, seriously, browsing new today is pathetic. So many of y'all lost money on Palantir, GameStop, or whatever WSB is trying to pump these days. Sure, some of y'all bought at the top, and that's just unfortunate. But you didn't have to lose 88% of your position if the stock only dropped like 4 to 5% since you bought it. Even if you look at the recently made millionaires of WSB, now listen to this, guys. They've held, they've made their positions over eight months, which is still a stupid short time and requires stupid luck to 10x your portfolio. Stop trying to do what they did in eight months in one week with PLTR 12 for $40 calls. Buy something further out so you don't get screwed by gamma and theta. Or buy shares and hold it for longer than a goldfish's attention span. So true. I mean, you guys, if you don't know what theta decay is, stop watching this video and look up something else on on YouTube. Buying a 12-4 Palantir $40 call, I, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of new people did something like that. Because you were just browsing and you saw, hey, that call looks pretty cheap. But then the stock, what happens tomorrow if the stock price goes up? Maybe the call price will go down. Theta decay. Stop it. Get out of your weeklies. That's going to be my number one message to so many of you. Weeklies, no. That's just gambling. No one's good at weeklies. You're only lucky. And I'm not here to gamble. I'm not here to be lucky. I'm here to be smart. And you should be too. Okay. All right. That'll do it for the Stomp Report. If you haven't already, please like that video, subscribe to the channel, and hey, click that bell, get some notifications. Love your support. Love you guys who have been following and, and uh, subscribing to the channel. We've definitely seen some growth recently, and I'm ecstatic about that. Um, thank you, guys. Be safe out there, and be safe with your money. Peace.